Hello guys, so since this model for right here is very popular now, look at this, 81.4 billion tokens have been used and this is a free model right here. So what we need to, what we're creating today is a custom theme for our blog and I prepared right here this comprehensive prompt that we can use. Look at this, this is pretty comprehensive to be able to follow any LLM. These instructions right here to create a modern and responsive blog team. So for today, what we're gonna do we will create a sample blog related to Vietnam tourist destinations. As you can see here, we captured some of the keywords where we can use as sample articles just to see how the theme will appear. We also fetch some keywords in this popular Vietnam website, website where people check to see the destination which are popular to the tourist. So you can see right here, we added some filters to output informational keywords and also here to have the keywords at least three words. Now, these are the keywords that we can also add as our blog topics to see how they will appear in this custom theme, which is using Horizon Beta. Okay, further ado, let's quickly fill up this. So the folder name will be, we will just have it as Vietnam Travels and the site title, let's have it as just Vietnam Travels, okay? The team name, if you want a uh, different, if you will be testing different models, so you can append with the model that you're gonna use. So later on, when you need to activate that inside your WordPress, you won't get confused. So here we will just save Horizon Beta. Okay, that's all the configuration we need. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this. Before we copy, let's set up our local WordPress. So here I'm gonna add a new site. So let's create a new site. Let's name this as Vietnam Travels. Okay, and then continue. All right, once your site is created, make sure to toggle this one click admin so that you don't need to enter your username and password every time you go to WP admin here in your local WordPress setup. Now let's click the WP admin. Okay, for WordPress is working. Now let's go to the VS code and here are the files that uh, we're gonna use for our WordPress. In this one, we will be using Klein or any of these extensions like Roo code or Kilo code. So let's just use uh, this Klein for now and make sure you're using the Horizon Beta and then let's start feeding this custom prompt to our client using Horizon Beta and let's see the output after a few seconds or after a few minutes. Let's do that now. So it started to create our team. So hopefully this comes out really well. So as you can see, Horizon Beta completed our request. So later on, you need to create these images in any AI image generator that can produce hero section image and your logo right here. We don't have the images for now, so these will appear blank, but we will be able to enable and add some articles just to see how it will look. Now we can now go to the WP admin and let's see the teams. And there you go. That's our new team right here. Vietnam Travels Horizon. Let's activate this. And now let's view the homepage. So look at this. It's pretty nice. It's looking decent and looking modern. So we have the about Vietnam travels right here. We have the frequently asked questions, which also in our task, in our prompt and the latest post. So this is what we're going to generate. So to create your articles, you, so you can manually go to ChatGPT or Cloud AI to generate some of these articles right here. But just for the purpose of our quick demo right here, I'm just going to get two articles here, two topics. So these two, and here, I'm just going to quickly use Article AI Generator to generate this. So I'm going to have the featured image as well so that we can completely see how it's structured in. Let's go ahead and generate this too. All right, so we can see right here our two articles have been completed. Now, we're going to check this. So this first one right here, how popular is Vietnam as a true destination? So we're going to copy the title. And here, go back to our dashboard, go to post, and let's create a new post right here. So we're going to paste the title and then add a featured image right here. So I'm just quickly save this and coming back here, let's set the featured image and let's copy the entire article right here. So just click copy content and come back here, paste the content. All right, so let's publish this and view our post. All right, so this is how it displayed the article. So it's looking decent. And here we can see the latest post on the right side. So if you need further changes, for example, if you want to add in or change the font, change the theme color, then you can just easily prompt the AI to do that. So you can just go back to your VS code and just tell AI the changes that you require. Now we want to see the second article if we want to see how, if we have multiple posts right here. And we also want to see if the previews and next articles gonna work. So let me grab the second article, which is uh, why Vietnam is a popular tourist destination. So again, this is our nice featured image and we click on Tappy. Save the image. Let's create the second post. So this is the title and then add a featured image right here. And here copy the entire article and paste it right there. 
So usually when you have featured image, it gets copied as well. So just delete that because we already set the featured image right here. So we publish this and view the post. This is our second post and this is how it's going to look. While when we have multiple posts, you can prompt the AI to have more padding, as you can see, and increase the font. So that's what I'm going to do since this is a free model. So we can do whatever we want. So we have the previous post right here. So let's click the previous post and the next post is going to appear right here. And let's check the home page how it's going to display the latest blog post. So look at this. So this is how it will display the latest blog post right there. So it's cool and it's looking nice. So yep. So you can try the same. If you need this prompt, it's available in the description below. Now, when you want to upload this to your server, what you just need to do is go to files. So you can see right here, this is the thing that we created. So if you're using Mac, you can just simply click on reveal in finder. And here, just make sure you compress this and let's go to the server. So if you want to create a sample WordPress, so you can go to tastewp.com. This is how you're going to upload it to the server once you're satisfied in your custom theme. All right, so our website is ready. So here, what we're going to do is go to themes. And here, we're going to add theme and select this option, upload theme. And you can just drag your uh, big file right here. So just do this and install the theme. And there you go. That's it. You just need to activate it. And now your team is in the server. So let's check this. All right, look at this. It's now live. And when it is in the server, you can just easily add this to Article AI Generator. So you can auto post directly in your uh, WordPress. So here in the bulk articles, there is the option here to like auto post, but you need to add your sites right here at the site. So make sure you put the correct username and password and the WP site URL. So all the information, all the details are here. And you have to download this. So this is just a one-time configuration. Just download this simple plugin and install that in your WordPress here in the plugin. So you click on add plugin and upload the plugin and you will be able to auto post bug articles to your website right here. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, see you on the next one. I will be adding this in the description below.